evening and Merry Christmas to all of you. We're going to begin this Christmas Eve service with um, one of our beloved young people playing the first Noel on the piano. Thank you, Autumn. Again, Merry Christmas. We're so delighted that you're here. And we're so appreciative of your uh, wearing of the masks and being distanced. It is a delight to be back here in the church sanctuary for Christmas Eve and wonderful to see all of your faces, at least your eyes. <clears throat> Tonight, we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ and we welcome Emmanuel, God with us, into the world. A couple of things before we begin our service. You are invited to remain seated until we share the light of Christ at the end of the service, and I will invite you to stand. When you light your candle, if you, if you would tip the unlit candle towards the lit one, it will cut down on the amount of wax on our pew cushions. And if you look down, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> When we gather our Christmas offering, you're invited to simply pass the basket to the pew behind you when it gets to the end of your pew. One of the interesting things I discovered in the last 24 hours is that you cannot extinguish a candle with a mask on. For safety reasons, you can imagine it's important to extinguish the candles before we leave the building. So at the end of the service, I'll invite you to pull your mask down, extinguish your candle, and then put your mask back up. We're so very glad that you're here on this most holy night. One of the beloved people in our church community is Mayella Wheeler, and she is deaf, some of you may know her, and each Christmas Eve she teaches us sign language for Merry Christmas. So I'll invite her forward now. So this is Mary, and this is Christmas. Mary, Christmas. So if you turn to one another in your pew and wish each other a Merry Christmas in silence. Again, welcome to this uh, holy service on this most special night. Let us begin by singing uh, two verses of O Come All Ye Faithful.
the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of J Jacob forever, and his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Now the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her 
is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him, and he took her as his wife. Let us sing two verses of Hark the Herald Angels Sing. days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. All went to their towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the towns of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there is no place for them at the inn. In that region there were shepherds abiding in the fields. An angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people. Born this day in the city of David is a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth, in line in a manger. And suddenly there was with an angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth.
When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him, calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him in Bethlehem, saying, go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and worship him. They set out, and there, ahead of them, went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child lay. When they saw that the star had stopped, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and worshipped him. They offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. As the wise men of old brought gifts to the Christ child, let us bring our gifts to Christ's church this night.
Would you bow your heads and let us join our hearts together as I offer the Christmas prayer. Beloved in Christ, this Christmas Eve, it is our delight to hear again the message of the angels. To hear in Holy Scripture the tale of the loving purposes of God brought to us by God's holy child. And we make this church glad with our carols of joy. Let us pray for the needs of God's whole world, for peace and goodwill over all the earth for unity within the church that Christ came to build and unity within all peoples. Let us at this time remember in Jesus' name the poor, the cold, the hungry, and the homeless, the sick in body and them that mourn, the lonely, the aged, and the little children, and all who know not the loving kindnesses of God. Let us also, beloved, remember before God all those who rejoice with us, but upon another shore and in a greater light, those whose hope was in the word made flesh. Amen. Amen. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it, and the Word became flesh and lived among us. Would you please stand as we share the light of Christ?
brothers, before we go forth from this service, take a good look at the light that shines in the darkness. For Christ's light is revealed to us this night. And as we go forth from this service, take Christ's light within you into this day, into the night. Be part of the story, for God walks with you and Christ's light burns within you. Merry Christmas and pull your masks down. <laughs> Go forth in joy to love and serve the Lord. Go forth in joy to love and serve God's people. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.